I was trying to instill the idea of self-carriage in, in riding horses and that that really comes from understanding a concept of self-carriage while you're teaching students. In other words, you, you have to allow them some, some time to, to process and um, show you that, that the information is starting to sink in when you're, when you're giving instructions. And that's the same as when you're riding and, and you're, you're teaching horses. And uh, if, if you're busy all the time, then you, you don't have a, a chance to, to listen to the horse. Right, so, so I, I think that the most important thing when you're, when you're riding or when you're teaching, so in other words, you're teaching a horse or you're teaching a student, so really it's just all about teaching, is that you, you, you allow these, these moments where you observe, where, where you take the feedback, where, where you, you try to understand if something is happening or not happening. And I think that in general, and that involves also understanding something about um, relaxation and, and tension. And I went into a, a little bit of Chinese philosophy where, where um, they, they have a term in martial arts where, where you can steal the mind of uh, you know, your opponent with a distracting te technique. And in riding, that, that would be that, that you know, if, you, if you have a horse that really doesn't want to bend to the left, and you, you end up using so much left rein that you, you start getting a little angry and you start tightening your whole body and, and, and you get so involved in the specific task that that, that resistance has stolen your mind, you've lost the overall picture.